Hey, welcome back to the channel. If you like the idea of selling an online course, or perhaps you've already been trying to sell one and you haven't been able to get customers, or perhaps you've never even got it launched because there's so much work, it takes so long, I want to share with you in today's video how to do what I call growth hack, the launch of your online course. So it doesn't take months, it actually takes 14 days. Let's get into it. So firstly, welcome to the channel. My name is John Pimothy. I'm the founder of adclients.com where we help you create, launch, and scale your online courses or your coaching programs. And I'm pleased that you're here. Listen, we're gonna talk about the topic of launching an online course, something I'm very, very passionate about. I've been launching courses for the past seven years. I've launched 18 online courses uh, up until this point right now. We've generated over $10 million in online course sales. So we know a thing or two. And when I say we, I'm talking about myself and my team. You know, we've been doing this a very, very long time. We've been teaching this to our clients. And one thing that's been very apparent is that when you're launching an online course, there's a lot that needs to go into it. And it gets people so stuck I think one of the biggest challenges with launching an online course is not actually getting customers. It's not actually trying to convert people into a sale. What's even more difficult is even getting the darn thing launched. There's so much to do and it takes people a very long time. So I wanna talk about how to growth hack your course to launch in literally days instead of 14 months, which you can take for you know some of you that are watching this right now. There's two things that can get you hung up. The first is creating the course itself. Okay, we wanna make sure it's amazing. If you're an entrepreneur watching this, then listen, we're perfectionists. We wanna make sure it's the best it can be. We don't wanna put out a course that isn't absolutely amazing. And so we get so hung up on it. It takes us a very, very long time. The second is the marketing. Even if we get our course created, how on earth do we get it out there? How do we get people to see it? And more than that, how do we get them to actually buy it, okay? There's the old way versus the new way, and this is the old way. The old way of creating your course is, you know, planning a huge program, you know, planning tens of hours of content that's gonna go into that. Make loads of slides or whatever it is that you're gonna to use to teach inside of the course. Get all that fancy camera equipment, create a gazillion bonuses, PDFs, guys, cheat sheets, record all the videos, then re-record all the videos because they weren't good enough and you wanted to do them again. Create a gigantic membership area, build everything before you launch. And then of course, doubt creeps in, confusion, frustration. Ultimately, it never gets launched, right? You get stuck. This is the old way and it's very time consuming. It's very daunting and it doesn't work. The old way of doing the marketing is first you've got to decide which sales funnel to use and you've got to build all the pages. There's a tons and tons of them. You've got to learn webinars and other you know, sales processes like VSLs, you've got to record all the videos, make sure it's all linked up. You've got to scream when it breaks because you're freaking out because nothing's working. Then you've got to pull yourself together, try it again, try and find a fix, figure out all the fiddly bits. You've got to do YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, blogging, TikTok. Again, it becomes overwhelming on this side. So even if you fall into the camp of getting that done, well, now you've got this mountain to overcome. And for most of you, you don't. Now, this is what can take months, years. Uh, in some cases, you know, you just never get it done. Maybe you've had a course idea for over a year now and it's still not launched. This is most likely why you fall into one of these categories. The new way or the smart way is to do this. We plan what you'd like your course to be and then we pre-sell that course and we only prepare 10% of the course. Much like how Apple do with the iPhone, right? They pre-sell it. They have people paying them for the, for the phone before they're actually even sent out. And we're doing the same thing with our course. We're creating 10% so that there's something in there ready for people when they purchase and we're basically pre-selling the concept of what we have planned for our program. And we only complete the 90% when we actually have a customer, okay? And you sell it as the benefits. When you're selling your online course, you can say, okay, great, when you come in, I've got the first module there prepared for you. I've got the first few videos there ready for you. And then in a week's time, I'm gonna record the next uh, module. And a week after that, I'm gonna record the next module after that. So we can take our course to market very, very quickly, and there's tons of benefits to this. Firstly, you're gonna save loads of time. You're gonna save all that time trying to create it up front. You can launch in days, you know, instead of months or years. Your customers will love the process because they feel like they're getting all this exciting stuff that's dropping every month. They get structure and accountability because they can follow along week by week, and you have the accountability yourself. This is a big one. For some of you right now, you know, you've not launched your course because again, you keep doubting you know, the, the, the idea that you've got or the order of your modules or how many lessons you're gonna have. If you land a customer, well now you've got the ultimate accountability. 
right? They are due to have module two in a week's time. So now you've got a week to prepare that next module. I do this for every single one of my courses that I create. I never, or very, very rarely, I should say, do I create all the content up front. What I'll usually do is I'll start selling the idea of a course and I'll sell it as a weekly training. So they come in, there's a few videos ready to go, and then every week now, I have a week to prepare the next module, holds me accountable. If I didn't have that, I would never launch my course. And finally, you get to test your course idea. Imagine how devastating it would be if you spent months or years preparing a course, creating it, recording it, you try to sell it, no one wants it, no one's buying it. And it's because it was the wrong match for the market. It was the wrong course for the type of customers that you want. The content is not right and people are just not being attracted to it. Well, you can test it now. You can create just enough to pre-sell the idea, start getting some customers. And if you don't get customers, then you don't have to put in all the work and you can try something else. Okay, so that's why pre-selling is so important. And then of course we come over to the marketing side and let me ask you a question. Have you ever tried to build a sales funnel before? It is a long laborious task, loads of pages, loads of email sequences, loads of things linking up. The tech becomes very, very confusing. And again, maybe you're in, in the point in your business where you've tried to build funnels and you've never even got one out there because it's never quite got across the line. Instead of all of that craziness I talked about before, we launched something that, that I like to call a QR funnel. It's a quick, result funnel. We're not trying to build a big, gigantic funnel with all the bells and whistles. We don't do that to start. It's all about speed of implementation, which is why we use pre-selling. Speed of implementation, speed of getting our course out there. We want to do the same thing on the funnel. If you've got a massive funnel with loads to do and loads to build, you're never going to get it done. So we have to use something quick and, uh, and, and you know, can take your course to market very quickly. This is why you're feeling stuck because you're being preached that you've got to have this gigantic funnel like this or like this and it is keeping you stuck. How many pages do you think is in what I call a QR funnel? Okay, well of course I'll give it away to you. It's two, two pages. We create a sales page and we create a checkout page. Okay, we create a page where someone can come to to hear about our course, to find out what it is that we've got going on. And if they want it, they can hit a button underneath and go to a checkout page where they can go ahead and purchase. Now, is this funnel gonna convert better than a webinar or some other big crazy sales funnel? Probably not. But is this actually gonna get you out to market? Yes, are you finally gonna have a place to send people when, when your friends and family ask about, you know, what is it that you're doing? You have a page you can send them. When someone wants to refer you, a friend that they think needs your help, you have a place to send them. If you're having conversations on social media, you now have a place to send them and you can start to get some momentum with your, with your program, with your course, stop making some sales, and then you can build upon your funnel moving forward. So like I said, you now have a place that you can do this stuff. All of these conversations you're having online, you've got a page that you can send them. The goal with your QR funnel is to get you to your first 10K in sales. We're not looking at a six figure or a seven figure business at this point. We just wanna start landing some sales, get some momentum, get some customers, and then we can build upon it over time. So it's using these two things in combination that will allow you to launch your course in literally 14 days. It doesn't take any longer than that. In fact, we have a, a program, if you're interested in hearing about it, we'll leave a link in the, uh, in the description box. It's called Course Launch Bootcamp. If you're watching this right now, we currently have enrollment open, and this is a process that we take our, our customers and our clients through. We'll teach you how to do this. We'll teach you how to utilize pre-selling and a QR funnel to make sure that within two weeks, 14 days, you can actually take your course from an idea in your head to a sellable asset that actually starts to produce you some revenue and, and quite quickly, and then we can of course build upon it after that. And it's only when you start getting some customers, getting some results, that we can now take our course, continue to build upon it, make it bigger, make it better, add more stuff to it. Listen, the thing about your course and the, and the perfectionism that can come with it, you can always change your course, right? So if you start pre-selling it, you land some customers. If you wanna change some stuff, you wanna change the plan, make it better, you can do that. And when you start getting results and momentum, we can move to what I call a BR funnel which is a big result funnel. Now we move from just a sales page and we can add some additional bells and whistles. We can be building an email list alongside our funnel. We can do all of this, uh, you know, amazing, amazing stuff. So hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, do me a favor, hit the like button, drop us a comment on this YouTube video. It really encourages us to make more content for you. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification, to be notified of all future videos. We put out two new videos like this every single week about courses, coaching, selling high ticket, selling low ticket, traffic generation, webinars. Everything is covered here on the channel. It's some really good stuff. So do check it out and we'll see you in a future video.